On today, with, uh, with uh, definitely not authentic, I'm making some mead. Uh, and it's more of a sizer, um, so since I'm using uh, some white grape uh, peach juice, um, I, can, I guess you, know, you can use that instead of you know, uh, a normal apple juice. So just make everything quick and uh, three gallons of water, some lemon juice for uh, some extra tannin, a little bit of, of a little tick or, you know, that's, a, that's that little that you feeling that, that, that you have at the end of uh, drinking. Um, you got your stopper here, this is for later. Pectic enzyme, uh, a little bit of a uh, little bit of wine tannin. Uh, we have some uh, wine new or yeast nutrient right here. And also I'm using Lavalin 71B1122. Uh, yeast and that's uh, it'll mature faster, so it'll be right around uh, the time for 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 uh, for summer. And I have six pints of honey. Uh, this is from my connect down in Wilmington, North Carolina, and uh, so this will be really nice. Uh, technically, you should use three pints per gallon, but uh, this there's some extra sugar in here that uh, will make it uh, you know 10 to 12 percent. Um, the normal recipe that I use. I will yield a higher alcohol percentage and that you know can cause you some trouble sometimes or you know sometimes you can have a, a good time for a party. So the first thing you want to do um, after sanitizing your bucket and everything else you need sanitized, um, the car or the airlock um, and like the spoon is to get your uh, honey heated. This will make it so make sure that it's not congealed and it'll be very uh, liquidy and easier to stir in the mix. Pour a little bit of the honey in there, probably about half of uh, my jar juice. You really have to make sure you stir, get everything dissolved. Do this over this way. Stir, make everything, make sure you have everything dissolved. I'm gonna pour some of the water in there. nice and slushed around and if you may see some discoloration on bucket don't worry it's because it's stained um, it is clean so shout out to all the haters all the trolls add the rest of the honey okay and a cool trick to do is to add some water in there And give it a shake. It's all about increments. You gotta make sure everything is dissolved properly or you won't get the yield that you're looking for. And I always use a wooden spoon because a metal one can scrape up the bottom and let bacteria in. And no one wants bacteria in their wine. Uh, I'm adding lemon juice, and it's this is never an exact science. Like I don't, at least for me, it's kind of all of what you want. So there we go. That's, that's about all I'm going to add. I'm adding some yeast nutrient, and you really don't need a lot. I know there's recipes out there, but I'm just going to do about one teaspoon full of yeast nutrient. And with all that sugar and honey in there, you won't need <clears throat> you won't need very much. The next thing I'm adding is pectic enzyme. And this will really get a full yield out of uh, all the fruitiness in there and clarify it a little bit. I'm adding one About uh, one and a half teaspoons of pectic enzyme. Big fan of tannin, but I'll add one. I was gonna, ah, you know what? Let's do one and a half. Uh, more, more like two. Two tablespoons of uh, tannin. Now I'm trying to give this one little, last little stir. You can see how dark that is, but um. 
after it ferments and after it ages for a while, it's really, really, really going to clear up and uh, lighten up to look more like a Chardonnay than anything. Now the last thing I'm going to add, 71B1122 Lab 1. I'm just going to add a whole pack. If you have any questions for me um, regarding any, anything in this video, just go down to the comments section and I will answer them as soon as I can.